when I was governor also in the Locos Norte, uh, of course we had the male, male mayors and the female mayors. And after a while, you know, minitin ko yung mga lalaki. So, because you guys better pick up your game. Napapahiya tayo dito sa mga babae because they're doing better work. We are still the megaphone, the noisy ones. Uh, kami nagpapasikat na nag-iingay. But uh, the steady work is very much done by the women in the background. I am very, very happy to be here uh, to preside the, over this uh, oath-taking ceremony of the newly elected National Executive Board and Regional Presidents of the Lady Local Legislators League of the Philippines or 4L Philippines. I congratulate all, all the new officials that will lead our efforts once again to champion and protect the rights and uh, the welfare of women, of children, and of families. Women leaders play an indispensable role in the vital task of nation building. These roles are, in, uh, these roles are enshrined not only in the Constitution, but also in the legislation passed by Congress. And perhaps even more importantly, these roles are very much part of Philippine culture. Uh, I always explain to my friends from uh, uh, different countries that uh, you, know, you might think that uh, the Philippines is a macho society. Uh, the truth of the matter is we are a matriarchal society. Uh, and uh, the kami, yung mga lalaki lang yung maiingay at saka lagi nagkakarap. But the, the ones that are really uh, uh, always uh, steady in the work of uh, supporting our families, our communities, our children, nandyan lagi ang ating mga kababayihan. And they form the bedrock. That's why uh, I don't know if I, you have heard this story before. I remember very, uh, very well. Uh, late mga 70s, 80s, uh, I was with my, my mother in uh, the United States. And you know, uh, uh, that was the height of the, femini the beginnings of the feminist movement. And... Uh, my mother was asked, and he said, um, uh, Madam First Lady, Imelda Marcos, uh, what does the Philippines think of the feminist movement and the equality between the sexes? And my mother said, well, you know, I have to say that if you make me equal with men in the Philippines, it's a demotion. Because we are already, we are already put up on a pedestal. We are already the ones that run the show, and I, you know, it, it's very funny to 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 to, uh, to relate and to remember. But it's really true. Uh, that's really the 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 very best that we really are very much in that uh, uh, in that cultural mode. Uh, Vice Gov Cecil will attest to that. Uh, for example, in Ilocos, kami yung mga, ano, di ba? Kami yung mga Ilocano, yung, kami yung mga supposed to be the, the matatapang, na, uh, the, the stoic types, etc., etc. But in the Ilocano tradition, for example, uh, when I was governor there, we do, yung, pag nagbabayad kami ng sahod, hindi namin binibigay sa, sa empleyadong lalaki. Binibigay namin sa asawa. And yung asawa ang magbibigay ng allowance doon sa, sa lalaki. Kaya ganun talaga eh. Uh, but that's really, that really always has been the, that really always has been the, uh, the uh, uh, tradition and the cultural uh, bent that, that, that has, uh, uh, has been part of the Filipino tradition. And... Um, Although I, maybe I would not go as far as to say uh, what my good friend uh, once said. He said we, he reminded us of the saying that behind every good, every great man, there is an even greater women, woman. Sabi uh, niya, well, if that is the logic, the more great women behind the man, the better. Sabi ko, hindi yan siguro applicable dito sa Pilipinas. 
But of course, but that is, but that really is the the very important place that women play in our society, and uh, it is sometimes uh, that that is why uh, it it was very easy for us when it term when when the the the, uh, the issues of gender equality, the issues of uh, uh, all of these. Uh, uh, now that perhaps uh, in the newer civilizations they are only starting to discover, uh, we immediately uh, scored very, very high in terms of that, uh, simply because that has always been part of Filipino culture. And that is why uh, the, we count very much. I, again, I will, I will I, uh, uh, see, see Vice Gov says, we'll, we'll attest to this. When I was governor also in Ilocos Norte, uh, of course we had the male, male mayors and the female mayors. And after a while, you know, minitin ko yung mga lalaki. Sabi ko, you guys better pick up your game. Napapahiya tayo dito sa mga babae because they're doing better work. And, uh, you know, the, the, there's, very much, there's very much a point to that. And that's why we... Uh, it is very, very, when the issues, like I said, of gender equality came up, napakadali para sa Pilipino na maunawaan yun. We all have, we all hold our mothers, our sisters, our grandmothers, our aunts in high regard. Uh, in the regard, in the sense that we basically are formed by the women in our culture. And that applies to government as well. In terms of government and the parts and the roles that you play, that is very still very much the case. And uh, we are still the megaphone, the noisy ones. Kami ng papasikat na nagiingay. But uh, the steady work is very much done by the women in the background. And that uh, uh, I think is something that. Uh, that is something that we, I, I don't know any Filipino who will, who will contradict me in, that, in, that, in, in those terms. So I have great hopes uh, as officers and members of the 4L Philippines that you will continue to work for the passage of, in our work, local legislative measures that aim to improve the lives of our people, especially the vulnerable. Let's embrace your commitment to conduct fair and gender responsive programs in your respective localities. We can broaden the growth opportunities and enhance the role of women in our society. So most importantly, create a conducive and nurturing environment for women and for girls to participate freely and equally in our political, social and economic spheres. Baka dito lang tayo naging nagkakakulang is giving opportunities to young girls, to women, uh, and not somehow uh, exclude women from, uh, and girls especially, as, as, they, as they grow up, exclude them from certain sectors of our economy, certain sectors of our society. However, that is changing very much, uh, and I think that uh, the Philippines is doing a good job with that. Because, of, again, the recognition by Filipinos that we have a supreme asset in our ladies, uh, that uh, our Filipino, the girls, the young girls, the women who have been working very, very hard for our society, all, through our, or all throughout our national history. So moving forward, I hope to see more women in key leadership positions in the country. Be assured that this administration remains steadfast in implementing the Magna Carta of women at all levels of government. In line with this, I encourage all of you to work with us in closing the country's gender parity to improve our ranking in the Global Gender Gap Index of the World Economic Forum. We have, in fact, already achieved much in this area. In 2023, the Philippines attained a rating of 79.1% in gender parity, which ranked 16th amongst 146 countries globally. 
Yes, applaud yourself. That, 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 has, that, has, that has been your achievement. Well, this distinction is something that we, and especially women, should be proud of. There remains, uh, there remains great deal to be done to achieve our goal of gender parity. So let us aim to eradicate prejudice and discrimination against women in every facet of our society so we can build a bagong Pilipinas that empowers women to be the best that they can be. Mabuhay ang 4L Philippines. Mabuhay ang lahat ng Pilipinang kababaihan. Maraming maraming salamat po. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat.